What's up guys, this is Deathwish. I wanted to cover this new Distract and Destroy event, explain it to you guys a little bit and give you guys uh, some ideas on how you can uh, utilize this event and maximize the reward this event this event offers. So here's the, the gist of this, ra this uh, Raven Distract and Destroy event. So essentially it's the same thing, you're just attacking Raven troops, Raven bunkers. However, once you're able to attain Raven flags, which you get from killing Raven troops, you're able to convert just a normal Raven Bunker or a normal Bunker into a Raven Bunker. And from that, once you convert it, place a flag on it and convert it into an actual Raven Bunker, you get the normal material rushes and ammo, but you also, in addition to that, get the event rewards. And you can get this, uh, luck of the draw, you get this picture frame, you get some gold, you get coupons, you get these uh, buffs, things like that. So the the, ro ro the rewards are actually pretty good. So here's the gist of the event. Here's how you do it. And you'll see I'm running an army group, and I'll explain that why here. And just I'll explain why here in just a minute. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and attack this 41 Raven troop. This level 41 Raven troop here. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we get the flag. They, the flags come randomly. That you don't get them every single time you attack a Raven troop, but they do come pretty consistently. So it's not like an absolute grind to get them. Let's see if we get it on this one. All right. All right, let's see. We didn't get it on that one. Let's come over here and try this. Got to get all that. And that, the, the, the tough part about this is, is to be efficient with your time. It makes more sense to start an army group to run right away. And like I said, I'll explain here in just a minute, but it just makes, makes it a little tedious. All right, so we didn't get in on that one. All right, let's come over here and try this one. Like I said, it's just random, but generally speaking, at least the luck I've had so far, maybe some of you guys have had a harder time getting these Raven flags, but for me, so far, it seems like I've got them fairly consistently and fairly easily. I've got a couple already, but I want to show you guys exactly how this event's supposed to work. Okay, so right there, we just got us a Raven flag, right? And I'm going to use this level 10. Actually, let's go over here. I'm going to use this level 11 Raven Bunker as an example. So you're going to click on it just like normal. All right. Once you've got a Raven flag, all right, you come over here to your supplies, others. We got us a Raven flag. Okay. Come over here, pick you a bunker. Ideally, you're going to pick the highest level bunker. But for this video, I'm going to go ahead and just use this level 11 Raven Bunker here. Once you click on it, it's a normal bunker right now. You're going to click Challenge. You're, that's going to place that Raven flag on it. All right. And then you're going to come right over here. And this is where the Army Group aspect of this comes into play. All right. So we're going to come over here. We're going to attack the Raven Bunker just like normal. All right. And I, what I, I haven't noticed that these bunkers are any harder or easier to kill once you convert them into actual, um, like, Raven Bunkers or whatever. Uh, to me, they seem just, just the same as, as normal. So let's see, let's get our troops surrounded around this thing. All right, let's attack this. All right. We destroyed it. All right, we picked up the uh, rewards, right? So we've got our normal material rushes right here. All right, we've got our ammo, and now we've got the major plunder, all right? And that's just from this event. So let's click OK. Let's come back over here. Let's open up this box. All right, so this is what we got from this. This is 24-hour military uh, funds drive. Gives us 25% military funds yield for 24 hours. You've got Assault Training Basic, grants 100% troop training speed bonus for 10 minutes. And we got Basic Resource Pick. All right. So that's kind of the gist of the event. Here's the reason why, just so you guys can understand, here's the reason why I do prefer to start army groups even when I'm attacking Raven troops. And that is because you can't, you can attack the Raven troops yourself and build up the Raven flags. However, you cannot convert a Raven bunker, you can't convert a normal bunker into a Raven bunker 
unless you've got an army group active. I don't know why they did that. I guess it's to incentivize, incentivize running army groups, which is, is fine. It's cool. I get it. Um, but that's why I went ahead and started an army group. To me, I found that to be a little bit more efficient with my time versus running around solo, picking up all these Raven troops, and then I've got to go start an army group to get a bunker, to get the bunkers rolling. So I just went ahead and started the group. That way, once I've collected as many flags as I want, then I can roll right into hitting the bunkers and roll on from there. So that's kind of the gist of the event. Like I said, they've got some pretty decent rewards. They've got some gold, some um, universal coupons. They've got some of these new buffs, things like that. So overall, pretty decent rewards, pretty fun event. I don't mind it at all. Gives a little bit more excitement to actually just doing the, the boring bunkers as normal. So oh, like I said, overall, Fun event, that's how I would suggest you do it, is go ahead and start an army group up from the start. But you don't have to, but once you do try to convert the bunkers, you do have to run an army group. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope that explains the event just a little bit more in detail. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys on the next one.